first floor. No, that's what's the number? Okay. Two. And our y intercept there we go. Five. Five. There we go. Y equals two x plus five. So it's not quadratic, it's what? Linear. Linear. It's linear. It's linear. What's it missing, Richard? What's it missing in our equation? Squared term. Squared term. Okay, good. Let's look at another one. So let's say we had negative two x to the third plus y is equal to negative five x to the third plus x squared. Is this nope. quadratic? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Raise yes. your hand. Why is why why do you think it is? Why do you think it is? Richard or Hannah, why do you think it is? It's got an x squared. Why do you think it's not, Gabriel? Because the alpha is negative two. 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 Negative just having the square term, not having the third term. Because if you have something like that, it's actually got its own name called cubic. Cubic instead of a cubic. Well, the common square. Well, this goes from greatest to least, right? So this this should be first. But if because it has a, a cube term, it's not square. If it was quadratic, it would just be x squared. Okay. So but let's even though we know that it's not quadratic. Cubic, cubic, so it's not going to look like this. It's not going to look like a parabola. It's going to look like a something else. Okay? So let's still, let's just put it in standard form real fast. We can only put this in standard form. Sorry, right? Wait a minute. Add two. It's not just two, but two x to the third. Good. So let's add. Now, when we put it underneath the x squared or the negative five x?
with y. Okay? X and y, we're going to fill these in. I'm going to give you some x values. Usually, on a test, I'll give you those x values, and then you figure out what the y is. In this case, our y is in f of x. f of x is just like a y dressed up in f of x. Okay. So let's say my x's are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay? Everybody just make that table. Make that table. Good looking table. Claw the table. Okay. So let's just plug in here. I'm mean, just now going back to the warm up. If we wanted to plug in, we're going to plug in all our values. So we're going to say f of x is equal to 3 times negative 2 in parentheses squared. Okay? Negative 2 in parentheses squared. And then we're just going to do our order of operations. Before multiplication, we plug in some. Before. Before we multiply these. your x values and tell me what you get for your x and x values. Yes, sir. So you got it. Okay. So plug it in our, our x values for our y. Yep. <laughs> Good. Okay. You probably start to notice a pattern. Maybe, maybe one side looks a lot like the other side. So let's call them out. Zero, what is our, our f of x or our y value for zero? Everybody? Everybody? Zero. Zero. Okay, zero. Okay, Riel, what, what's the next one? Three. Okay, and then, Preacher, what do we get for the last one? Try to do it, try to do it right now. We can do it together. Three x squared, right? You're plugging in two, four. Symmetrical before? Yeah. What is symmetrical mean, Leah? Symmetrical means uh, exactly, exactly like. Exactly So give me an example of like a symmetrical shape. Yes. Square. Like triangle. triangle. Well, some triangles. Um, Stop sign, circle. The human face. Usually it's well, pretty symmetrical. Well, some people got something on side of their face and they don't have a roof on their face. Usually, the most yeah. part is Okay, but parabolas are going to be symmetrical. They're always going to be symmetrical. They're going to have 
They're going to have what's called a line of symmetry that makes it look like a beard. Okay? What are they? What are they going to have that makes them that makes them look like a beard? What do they have to have here? Just want to make sure we got it. Is it symmetrical? What's that line that makes them symmetrical? It's called a line of symmetry. Okay. So let's quickly grab this. You should have grab paper about like four or five pages back in your packet. Towards the next lesson. your graph, you can start to plot your points. Start to plot your points. Okay, so we're going to start with negative 2, 12. We start by going over, go over to the left, 2, and then we go up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we round around here. Okay. And I like to always play my So once you've got your dots, don't draw your line yet. I just, I'm looking for dots right now. Yeah. <laughs> 